Paul. take a look see how we did we shot from 10 yards and let's see let's the camera right there so you can see we got one two three four five six I did two headshots from kneeling and I hit his jaw and then I skinned his head. That was my very last shot. I didn't take time to get on that target. Okay, boomer. <laughs> that uh, little phrase has become a big cliche here lately. But that's not what we're talking about today. We're talking about uh, the old revolver on the hip, you know, going retro. Now that phrase, the old revolver, the old 38 on the hip, comes from a guy named Hock Hockheim, if I'm pronouncing it right. He's a self-protection expert, been around for decades in the martial arts community. You know, and he made a comment about aging and how the older he got, no matter how much he trained, and... Uh, what type of martial art he trained in, and he's well versed in several. He made the comment that uh, self defense eventually is just going to come down to that old 38 on the hip. Now, this old 38 is a Smith and Wesson, it's a Model 10 snub nose revolver, and it's got the pin barrel six rounds. Now I do have a little bit of paint on the sight to help pick up that front sight. Now if you can see it, it's got serrations on the trigger and uh, I like that. That's not a feature you see on revolvers too much anymore, but it actually gives you more control as far as your trigger squeeze and the stability of the gun. Now one of the things I like about this gun is that uh, a K-frame revolver is much easier to reload than a J-frame revolver with a speed loader. So I can get a reload faster. As far as weight, this gun's uh, approximately 28 to 30 ounces. It's not that heavy, and uh, it conceals well, and it carries well. It's a shame that Smith & Wesson doesn't make these anymore. Now this is my bedside gun. And also here lately, because of the six shot capacity, I've been carrying it a good bit. As far as ammunition, you know, 38 Special is not as weak as what a lot of people would like to make out. You know, it's been used for decades by law enforcement in times gone by. And, you know, at close quarters for citizen self-defense, it, it'll still do the job. Now, in these older guns, um, especially ones that have the pin barrel, you probably don't want to run plus P ammo in them. In fact, that's a general rule of thumb. 
If it has a pin barrel, don't use plus P in that gun, although I have shot plus P through this gun, just not a lot. Uh, there are other ammos that work well, standard pressure ammos. What I like to carry is uh, Underwood. This is 158 grain. These are semi-wad cutters, hollow points. And uh, there it's not the most powerful round, but it's still a sufficient round to do what needs to be done. So why go retro? Why go with a revolver? Well, you know, some of us just like revolvers. You know, I think they're good for new shooters because they do have a simple manual of arms. And uh, they're easy to reload. And a lot of people who buy firearms, you know, for self-protection, they may only shoot it once or twice before they put it in a drawer or put it away to where they can get to it if they need it. You know, for somebody like that, uh, a revolver makes sense. But then you have guys like myself who just love revolvers. You know, I love the accuracy of a revolver, even a snub-nosed revolver. I love the simplicity. And there's just something about a revolver that just uh, it uh, has soul. I guess that's how Rock Island Armory sells their revolvers. A revolver that has soul. So anyway because I like revolvers because I shoot revolvers because I do YouTube <laughs> videos about revolvers amongst other guns you know, sometimes I get comments that are very derogatory, and I'm called a boomer. Well, not exactly. My parents were boomers, and I'm kind of betwixt and between boomer and Generation X, and you know, but boomers and revolvers go hand in hand. Well, not exactly. Um, I like revolvers. You know, and, and, and sometimes it gets downright nasty. I get people calling me a FUD because I like revolvers. But you know something? <laughs> I don't duck hunt. <laughs> uh, I don't even deer hunt at this point in time. Although I, I'm, I'm not against hunting. I'm totally pro-hunting and pro-hunters. I think... Uh, Hunting is, is good for conservation of wildlife in the outdoors, and uh, you know, I support people's right to hunt. Just like I support people's right to carry any firearm they want to carry. Um, and then I've been told, Grandpa, you need to get off the internet. Well, gosh darn it, I, I am a grandfather, and you know, my grandkids certainly love me, and I certainly, you know, they love their pop-pop, and I certainly love my grandkids, you know. When did being a grandfather somehow become derogatory, you know? But maybe they have a point. Maybe this is too old-fashioned, and, and maybe I do need to get off the Internet. You know, maybe this is not my place. You know, all these young guys that, you know, they talk about their SIGs and their Glocks and, you know, their M&Ps, even if maybe they don't actually own them. But, you know, they talk about them. You know, they're tactical. You know, and they're into the tactical stuff. An old guy like me, he doesn't have any place, you know, trying to show firearms or demonstrate firearms, you know. So maybe I do need to just get off the internet. And, you know, I think I'm going to shoot one last time. And uh, I'm just going to hang it up.